I've set up the same WordPress website on a few different hosts and in a second, I'm gonna click play and we're gonna watch the video load of these on a mobile device to see just how big of an impact each one of them has on speed. And then after that, we're gonna get into the details, the nitty gritty of how this test was run and set up. Now, before we jump into it, let me show you my actual WordPress website because a lot of people, when they run these tests, they use a lightweight theme to begin with, typically with demo content in it, which I don't think is quite reflective of most people's WordPress websites, right? So in this case, I'm gonna test it on my local home service business website, which is quite heavy and quite bloated. The site you see in front of you here is about a two and a half gigabyte site, and there's all kinds of stuff going on. We got scripts on here that uh, our recording user interaction, uh, Hotjar is the script we're using with the Facebook Pixel. We got events tied to Facebook Pixel and Google Analytics Pixel. And we've also got call tracking numbers. So these are replacement numbers that are loading on this page. And then when you go mobile on it, real quick cut in, what WordPress hosting are you guys using and are you happy with it? I wanna hear from you. Let me know in the comments below. We're pretty heavy on the mobile side of things. Uh, we had some CSS running down here or CSS overlay. Uh, on this site for mobile click to call buttons. There's a lot going on. This is a very, very heavy website. And this is not one of those starter themes with some demo content that naturally runs fast. This is a slow website and very heavy. So on that note, no more further chit chat. I'm gonna click the play. We're gonna see how it loads and see how this site does and how these hosts do. That's what we're really comparing, how these hosts do loading and running this website. And then, like I said, we're gonna jump into the nitty gritty and the technical. We've got, up on here, we got HostGator shared. We've got A2 hosting startup package. And we got the A2 hosting uh, turbo. Now both of these are shared, but this one has A2 hostings turbo. And then we've got Vulture HF on Cloudways running here, which has been lately regarded as basically the fastest option at a, at a reasonable price point, you know, without getting into exorbitant amounts of money, the fastest option for running WordPress here. So uh, Vulture HF. So, no more chit chat this time. I'm gonna actually click the button and here we go. Three, two, one. Boom, Vulture HF has paintful content or contentful paint. And at this point, I just clicked it. We are still, we're still waiting on HostGator. Oop. Let's just go back to the beginning here. Vulture HF contentful paint and still waiting on HostGator. A2 kept up pretty well and there's HostGator. Let's kind of slow down here and see when Vulture HF had its first, what I would call contentful paint. I'm looking for that hero image. Whoa, look at that. A2, A2 Turbo actually loaded that hero image before Vulture HF, but it didn't load uh, the phone numbers and the click buttons fully down here. Now if we go, there we go. Vulture HF is the first one to actually load everything, right? So it's happening in about three seconds, closer to three than four. We can't tell with the video player exactly where it's at. Uh, but A2 tur hosting turbo, not far behind, and really A2 startup hosting, not far behind it either. Let's go a little bit more. And right there, not right there. I was gonna write for the phone numbers. Oh, right around four seconds the A2 startup hosting has basically loaded everything. So there's a little difference between the two or between A2 and Vulture. I'd say probably about a second. All right, let's go back there. Vulture HF and then A2. So really it's not a huge, huge difference between any of these three over here. And then, you know, let's just go on and see when HostGator finally shows its face. There's HostGator pretty close to eight seconds, call it seven and a half uh, until HostGator really has a content full paint here. By this point, these three are already done. So I think this really highlights the impact that having good hosting does for you because any of these hostings here are good by any stretch of the imagination or they're certainly good by relation to or relative to HostGator. I think we can all see that here. So these three options here, I can't say you're gonna go wrong either way unless you are just truly a speed freak. Now let me share some numbers with you and some of the details behind the test of what I did to make sure that everything was even so we were truly measuring the speed of each web host. 
All right, we're going to go to Pingdom, where I've had these sites running in here. Uh, and first, we'll take a look at the HostGator install. Load time, median load time. This is measured every 30 minutes and taking the median of it. 4.72 seconds. Holy slow. Then A2, 1.15 seconds. A lot, lot faster. And then the Vulture HF, 1.1 seconds. A little bit faster, the fastest. Right now in GT metrics, we can see them all here. And we can see the load time, 6.2 seconds on HostGator. One thing that jumps out at me is the TTFB, 2.5 seconds. So that's the time that it takes a server to respond with the first byte of information. This is incredibly freaking slow. And this isn't a fluke. I've, I've tested this multiple times over and this is very consistent. Sometimes it's good. Probably 75% of the time, though, it's right around this at two plus seconds. And that's over 10 times longer than what Google recommends of having a TTFB of 200 milliseconds. And then when we go to A2 hosting, much faster, 4.3 seconds on the fully loaded page time. And finally, uh, the Vulture hosting, fully loaded at 3.8 seconds. So those are some numbers behind it here. Now let's take a look at the platforms and the options for each one. Actually, let me share the details with you that I did to keep everything, uh, keep everything consistent. So let me pull up a little whiteboard here. There's a whiteboard and there's my tools. For some reason it's not working. Now it should be working. Okay, right. First thing I did was disabled all caching plugins. And I actually don't have a caching plugin on the live site, but when you go through A2 hosting, they kind of try to funnel you into their caching system through their A2 optimized WordPress hosting, which has the W3 total cache plugin in it. So disabled caching and then no CDN. So no CDN was used on this and caching was disabled. So it's pretty much right here just testing the actual web host itself, right? By just doing these two things. A lot of times uh, A2 or other platforms will try to stick a WordPress caching plugin in there, which kind of distorts things. For this test, that was disabled along with CDN. Okay, so I think I made that clear. I'm not gonna keep on that, uh, keep harping on that. Now, when we go to HostGator, it was done on the shared business plan. Um, which I'm guessing is going to have about the same service as all of them. I just get a free dedicated IP. Ooh, and I, I don't know really what I get with that. Anyways, it's on a business plan. Um, obviously, you can see from the speed performance that I'm probably not going to be keeping HostGator much longer and I'm in the process of finding something better. Then the A2 hosting, right? The startup was done on this one that starts at $2.99 a month. Okay, so this is the plan right here that gets you one website on there. And then the turbo plan was done with the turbo plan that you see on my screen right there. Makes sense. Starting at $9.99 a month, right? So uh, A2 startup, boom, A2 turbo right there. And that A2 turbo gets you basically unlimited websites on there. Now, uh, there's unlimited storage, but they do cap your physical memory, which I'll talk about in a second. So let me go into the A2 C panel. And when you see this right here, physical memory usage, two gigabytes, right? So they limit each account to how much actual memory or RAM they can use. And I think this is one of the big reasons with why A2 is going so much faster. They're not letting anybody kind of do whatever on their shared servers. Instead, they're capping you at that two gigabytes, at least with the turbo plan, right? So if you go to the turbo max, um, then they basically up that cap and down here on startup, you're at 0.7. Now for a low traffic website, you know, with less than say 10,000 people a month, maybe more, but certainly less than 10,000 a month, uh, this is going to be fine, right? I wouldn't worry too much about that. The only issue would happen is if you're running heavy scripts, like some WordPress migration platforms will take up a lot more than that. But uh, yeah, really not a big deal. And you know, the issue gets to be really when you're running a lot of websites. So while it says unlimited websites, this thing cannot truly power unlimited websites. If you get four or five websites on here that get you know a couple hundred visitors a day, um, it's certainly going to overpower it. Then you're going to need to upgrade. But by and large, you know, uh, unless you're running an agency or something, you're really not going to go beyond this. So that's that's why this is a great option for those people that have a bunch of websites that want something pretty damn good that's going to get you there, right? Uh, so yeah, so A2 does cap you in this physical memory usage, whereas HostGator has no cap on it. 
Uh, that said, you know, if you're running websites that need this, you should basically just invest in good hosting, right? Well, you see the benefit of that or the value of it from the video. Uh, and then finally, let's go into where I set up the turbo or disabled it. Come in here to A2 Optimized. This is kind of where you manage your installs of WordPress and they, they kind of set up their optimized version of it. So we're gonna let it load here. Okay, we are in the A2 Optimized area. We're gonna go to the test site right here and it shows the options. Now, uh, we have memcached which is something that the turbo plan comes with that you can enable, but that does require you to use a caching plugin on the website. And then the turbo cache right here, you can see turbo cache is enabled. Now, optimized, this means that the A2 optimized plugin is installed on the site and running. I'm not sure why this is showing up as green because I definitely disabled this before running the test. So let me just click on configure and confirm. Yeah, so as you can see right here on my screen, disabled is selected, I have the option to enable it. It just must mean that the plugin is on the website, right? And I can enable it if I want. So that was disabled, no caching going on here. Uh, memcached, like I said, was disabled because that would install a caching plugin on the site. And then I just enabled turbo cache. And then for the test uh, to compare it to what startup would be, I simply just disabled that turbo cache here in configure to get that result. So that's how I set it up on A2 hosting. And then finally, there's Cloudways, right? Now signing up for Cloudways, uh, you can go to the Vulture plan right here under pricing, click on high frequency and see that it is $13 a month for one gigabyte RAM. And you can stuff as many websites on there as you want to. Um, you might be able to get probably a half dozen low traffic websites on there. Uh, at this price. So it's certainly at a low price, right? You know, even though we all call it premium hosting, the pricing really isn't that expensive. Now, one of the things that Cloudways has, I don't know if they have it with all of them. I think they have it with DigitalOcean because I've used it, but I haven't used any of these others, is when you come in here, you have the option to enable Redis caching. Now, I enabled this because this is a server function. It is not a WordPress function. So I did install Redis caching. So the example that you guys seen here is with the Redis caching enabled. And I did test it. It does make, you know, a couple milliseconds of difference. Probably nothing you would notice with your naked eyes. So it does make a little bit of difference. But again, that's server side setting. So I did install it for this test. So guys, that's a wrap on this video. I hope that gives you some insight into what the hosting options are and how much of an impact they can all make on the actual load time and user perform or uh, kind of user experience of your website. That's a wrap on this comparison of hosting options for your WordPress website. If you found this helpful to getting a faster host for your WordPress site, do me a favor and click the like button on this YouTube video. It would help me out immensely. And if you want more insight, more marketing research, more WordPress optimization techniques and strategies, look for a link to the No Bullshit Marketing Facebook group. I'm signing off on this one.